all right guys so check this out a lot of the times you have uh, an engine with a in with a camshaft and that's what you have right there's there's not much you can do about duration or how the cam itself is profiled that's just the way it is but the one thing that you can change is the valve lift right that is determined by the ratio rockers that you're gonna be running so like we see right here so 418 right well that is the cam that's that's the gross lift right so when you multiply uh, 418 by 101 it gives you a one uh, 459.8 which is what they rounded up to 460 right so that's your valve lift at 101 ratio rockers which that's weak nobody wants to be lifting the force that's for grandmothers so um let's see what this this one has right so check it out we i got this camshaft and this 1914 for skyler my buddy and this homeboy drives it a lot um and he always likes to have some power so this is one of my favorite camps to, to, for people all right so we go over here set the dial in it and then let's find out how much lift it's got right there it starts moving there's one two three four yeah there's five and that's it let's keep spinning it and it's not changing so that's it that's your max lift which is right it was 500 and you get 10, 20, 30, 40, 4, right? Right before the, the fifth one to make it, you know? So we got 544 without lift, right? And then you got to make sure that you actually didn't bottom out here or you got to be careful when, when you're setting it up that, that you don't run out of travel on the caliper itself and that the angle is is like dead nuts like straight up and down there are a couple things you got to make sure you know what you're doing when you do this but there you go so we go over here and with our one two five ratio rocker we have 525 we, we don't have that what do we have 544 right it's uh, 543.4 rounds about 544 which is what we end up having so this are 1.3 ratio rockers that's what we're running and they're a lot of the rockers in the market are actually sold as 125s but are lifting 1.3 this is what they're actually lifting when you when you check it out so all you shops that are out there selling rockers saying that they're 125s they're not they're not 125s the AA Performance ones, I am speaking of these right here, which are very nice. They're even nicer if you buy the uh, tool steel adapter, um, the tool steel adjusters from CB. Those are really nice. I, I, I've had them on engines that lift over 600 and and they've never broke or any issues. They, they figured it out already by now that these, even these don't break as, as uh, like the old ones used to. Like now they're a lot better. And on top of that, they they um, they just cleaned them up a lot better, like what they used to be to what they are now. They come a long way. The price went up about ten bucks on them or twelve bucks, but it's cool if if the quality is gonna be better, it's totally fine. But they have to sell them as one threes because if somebody doesn't really want this kind of lift, you know, they're scared of getting that high. And they'd rather be in the in the lower 520s or or in the 500s or whatever. You know, it's just just keep in mind that they not may not be lifting what they say they are. That usually happens with the scat lifter as well. 
you'll usually lift a lot more than what they say. But the 125 on the SCAD is actually, well, the lately has been dead nuts. But you still got to check. So... This is... Uh, There you go. Not 